Reddit, what is the worst secret your so is keeping from you, but that you actually know? The first time my so and I slept together I woke up during the night to use the bathroom. I came back in the room and she farted one of the loudest farts I've ever heard. I started laughing like crazy and she almost woke up. Almost. We've been together for 7 years. He lied about his last name. Age. Degree. Being in the military and being a sex offender. I only figured out the lie about the degree and broke it off. Then started stalking me and I figured put everything else. I don't know if he figured out that I know everything else. We live in a relatively small town and a girl was about to meet up with him I warned her. He is still lying about his age. You're not 29 Charlie. You're 42 and you. Ex-girl. She had a fairly large scar on her back and was incredibly self-conscious about it. She wouldn't even take her shirt off the first time we had sx. When I asked her about it. She said she had fallen from her horse when she was young. Fast forward a little and I'm out finding her a birthday present and have enlisted the help of her friend. I pick out her ass as I sing libs and her friend just looks at me like I'm stupid. Apparently the scar on her back. Which the singlet clearly revealed. Wasn't from a fall. But an abusive ex-boyfriend who had pushed her onto his motorbike's exhaust pipe and burnt her. We ended on good terms. And I never told her I knew. I hope she is doing well. Her Caesar salad dressing. It's actually the best thing ever but even after 2 years she refuses to tell me what's in it. What she doesn't know is that I have secretly been watching her make it over the past few months. I have finally pieced it together and now I have the power. Edit. Everyone wants the secret recipe. But she has read it. And I prefer life. He claims he doesn't love the new cat his parents adopted. Claims she always just sleeps in his room for some reason. Mother er loves that cat so much. I know she ate those cookies. Everybody likes snacks. Right? Some of us like chips. Others like fruit. Or yogurt. Well. My wife likes croutons. Frozen croutons to be exact and she tries to hide it like an alcoholic hides bottles of vodka. Where does she hide the croutons? In the freezer. At first I'd put them in the pantry when we get home from the grocery store. But they'd always end up in the freezer. I'd be like. Uh. Hun. What's up with the croutons in the freezer? And she'd act like she had no idea what I was talking about. Now here's the thing. I've tried them and now I'm addicted to them too. So now I openly eat cold croutons out of the freezer as a snack. And she tells me what a weirdo I am while she eats half the bag with me. No idea why she's embarrassed to admit what a genius she is for discovering such an awesome snack. BTW. The best kind is Chatham Village garlic and cheese flavor. I knew for a year and a half about my engagement ring and never told him until after he proposed. He was not so good at hiding. My wife dropped my iPhone in a porta potty toilet. Luckily it has been so used there was a large pile of which gently held the phone above the liquid. She cleaned it off and gave it back to me. A year later I upgraded and gave her my old phone. She insisted on purchasing a new cover even though I had a high end otter box. I never understood why until one of the kids told on her. My ex made up a person and spoke to me as them. We met when we were quite young and were both pretty weird. I put it down to insecurity and wanting to look like she had cool friends. I was a little older. I never let on that I knew because it would have been super embarrassing for her and this was literally the start of the relationship. She made up quite a few stories about this guy and I got a few emails from him. She didn't realize that changing the name of the account didn't actually change the address. Which was fully visible. She smokes when I'm not home. I know this because I always move the router to the window where the signal's best. When I come home the router is in a different position away from the window. I put it back without her knowing and call her out for smoking. She has no idea how I keep finding out. I'm his first girlfriend. He's 42. Eater. This isn't the worst BC it's something to be ashamed of. It's just something he doesn't know I know. I wish he'd been upfront about it in the beginning. 
but it doesn't change how much I adore him in the least. Edit it again. Because I had to tell him why I was on Reddit so much tonight. Now he knows I know. Thanks a lot y'all. He got a good laugh at this whole thing. I knew he was a keeper. Comma me in 21 years. His affair. I knew for 3 weeks before he left, to look after his allegedly sick dad, and for 2 weeks after before I told him I knew. He said last week he's ended it and sees what he has missed but I know he's still sleeping and living with her whilst messaging me. Basically what he just did to me, I'm his wife. We were together 12 years. He just can't stop lying. He may be genuinely remorseful right now but I can't get past his deceit. Update. Sorry if my comment was confusing and thank you for all the replies. I found out in December. He was cruel and miserable throughout and nearly ruined Christmas for the kids. I suggested he go visit his sick dad at NY and slammed that door right behind him. Took time off work, I was main earner then, and rearranged my life to take care of the kids and get a job with flexible hours. I'm happier. Kids are doing well. He's the one struggling now. My ex peed the bed. He didn't know that I knew. Edit. He had told me about it at one point after I had suspected it for a while. But subsequently he forgot ever telling me. Blamed it all on the cat. Also. This was back in high school. You're in big trouble. I know she looks at my reddit. Hello Jmag333's wife girlfriend. She waits until I sleep to steal my pillows. He hides chocolate bars in his work bag. Bastard. She is breaking up with me tomorrow. Said she wants to talk. And it's not something we can talk about in texts. We are on the verge of a breakup for like 2 months now. Feels bad. My, soon to be, ex-wife met another guy about a year and a half ago. She was so bad at hiding it that I thought she wanted to get caught. Posting romantic stuff on her Instagram when we hadn't been romantic in a long time. Confronted her. Lied even with solid evidence. A few months later stuff starts disappearing from the house. Pretty obvious that she's moving out. Then we started to have no money every month, and I have a pretty okay job. Realize she was stealing money basically by paying her bills twice a month with 3-4x the minimum payment and not paying mine. Let it go on for a bit and finally confronted her. She doesn't admit to it. I finally just pull my check from our joint account and she says she's leaving but is going to be homeless. The next day she had changed her Facebook back to her maiden name and had a picture of her and the other guy at their new place. I don't know if this counts. I am not sure what events led up to it but he pooped the bed. I am guessing he trusted a fart he shouldn't have but it happened. He didn't hide it very well. He just put the sheets in the washing machine but didn't start it so I smelled it. He claims the dog sharted but the boxes he attempted to hide, pretty haphazardly I might add, in the trash tell a different story. I have attempted to bring it up but I don't want to break the illusion he has of himself being the James Bond of bedting. My wife wouldn't let me touch her head. Well while we were dating she wouldn't let me touch her head or play with her hair. For the longest time she avoided it. Her mom asked. Didn't I know about her condition? I said no. And she told me I may find out one day. Anyway she, my gf wife, invited me to stay the night one night. And of course I was all about it. As we laid there I pulled her to me and ran my fingers through her hair. She didn't fight and didn't say anything. But I could feel her scars. And how her skull had healed. I felt her tears rolling down my forearm. I told her no matter any scar. Or anything else I was never going to let her go. Because I swore in that moment I would take care of her for the rest of my life. We dated about 6 months. And have been married for 10 years. Brain surgery. And seizures never stop me from being the best man and friend I can be for her. I've always been her second option was a prostitute and was in some adult films. And worked as an exotic dancer when young and hungry, retired. Bought a food truck. I love the coffee and grilled cheese sandwiches. Fell in love. Doesn't think I know. 
Doesn't know I don't care. I'll never tell. Update. P. S. How did I find out? Years ago a now deceased friend of my so. Someone who'd been in the life too. Told me. Showed me proof. The person I fell in love with was is the sum total of their life preceding. Middle class morality is not a luxury everyone can afford. It's not a value system everyone embraces regardless. It's okay by me if people, in part or entirely, choose to reinvent themselves as they see fit. He spent a ton of money on Bruins tickets this year. Whenever he got tickets to a match he claimed he got them for free through work or down please the cost but I know he paid for them. I don't really mind since he can spend his money how he wants. He's having sex with the Bruins. She flushes her tampons down the toilet. Which clogs it every so often. Is that a more acceptable reason? She had sx with my boss before we knew each other. Before I had been hired into the company. I'm not mad about it or anything. Everyone has a past but she carefully dances around ever coming into my work now and I'm careful not to bring him up. She had sx with Lumberg. He m sturbets to pictures on Facebook of girls we know. Can't we just have an anon mode so I can stop making throwaways? Yo I know you look at my reddit fight me when you come home. We were long distance when we first started dating. The one time she came up to where I lived for 4 days. But I had to work during one of the days. When I was gone she had to take a dump and clog the toilet. She couldn't get it to plunge and was freaking out so she went to the kitchen and got a fork and a plastic bag and dug the turds out of the bowl and threw everything in the dumpster out back. She called her friend panicking and the friend thought it was hilarious. Friend told me about it one night when the girl had left the room after we moved in together. I find it funny but don't want to embarrass her. This is in the past. But still a good one. Ended up finding out that my, now ex, girlfriend was cheating on me after hearing one of my parrots pick up. Oh. God. Yes. Jim. In a rather scratchy sensual voice. Turns out they've been having sx where I keep him while I went to work. Dumped her ass the next time I saw her and told her. I came home from 3 months abroad having left my boyfriend to care for my pets. According to my African grey parrot there was someone by the name Linda that did something very good. She also kept calling people a schmuck and demanding that they get her a beer. She had also mastered the sound of a gurgling bong and followed it with loud coughing sounds and the occasional b-o-o-y-a-h. Sounded like he had a lot of fun. It was an ex of mine. Sometime into the relationship I find out I'm just the guy she's using to cheat on the other dude who she has been dating before me crushed me cause she was the first girl I really loved and did absolutely everything and anything for her. Kept the relationship going without letting her know and then tipped off the other dude and confronted her and broke up with her on the same day that dude broke up. She deserved it. But I never really fully moved on. It's been years and haven't had a relationship after that. Edit. I didn't know Reddit was such a nice place. Thank you for all the great advice and positive thoughts. While nothing's going to change overnight I will remember everything you will said and I will focus on other greater things in life and hope to move on. All your comments are appreciated. Thank you. She deliberately told me she had never slept with a mutual friend of mine. The fact that she deliberately brought this up at literally a complete random time was suspicious enough. And I then saw a Facebook message from him one day because she was logged in on my phone. It said remember when we did things. More than just things friends do. Was I good? She has no idea. I wouldn't care except for the fact that she out of nowhere told me she had never done anything as well with him. While I went one, I wouldn't even be upset too. I never even I asked or brought IT up. Update. When he's about to fall asleep he's completely honest. It was about 7 months in when he grabbed me and whispered into my ear you're gonna be the mother of my children. I told him and he was thoroughly embarrassed and he apologized. However I neglected to tell him that pretty much every night he would tell me that he loved me starting a month in. She has no idea that I know about her multiple imaginary friends. 
Also she has this crazy notion that the computer programs she writes have become sentient. I am considering contacting a therapist. Are you sure or not her? I like turtles. Reddit what is the worst secret your so is hiding from you? She has sports tickets for my birthday. What? She says she loves me. At night. Once I go to bed. He binge watches Gossip Girl. It sounds like you might be dating a basic bitch. She is hiding baseball tickets for when my favorite team comes into town. She is waiting to give them to me on my birthday. Back when I was first starting to make my artwork public. I had a Kickstarter campaign to fund a tour. I had just started dating my so. But he gave a relatively significant amount of money anonymously. He tripped up in selecting his backer's reward, an original piece mailed to his house. When I saw the address, I definitely didn't suspect his roommates were just super supportive of my art. Edit. When I read worst secret, I thought it meant most poorly kept secret. Yes. We're still together. And I feel incredibly lucky for it. I said he gave a relatively significant amount. At the time. We were broke enough that I needed a kickstarter to fund my art. We're still pretty broke. But now I receive grants from the state council on the arts. The city. And residencies through the various established arts organizations to fund my work. Which is why I'd like to remain anonymous on here. Sorry. But support a local artist if you can. As for playing chess. I just lost a match to him this morning combination of her drinking and her cheating. I can tell by her behavior and the look in her eyes the second she drinks. Saw texts from another guy while she was passed out. Not really sure what to do. I'd start with breaking up with her. Then go buy yourself a steak. This is a past tense secret. But my GF at the time decided to surprise me by buying a holiday to Brussels for us over my 30th birthday accidentally intercepted the hotel confirmation email. So decided it was a good time to propose. As I'd been considering it for about 6 months. Act all surprised when she tells me. Then when we're having dinner in the restaurant on the first night. I get down on one knee and propose. I woke up in the middle of the night to my gf giving me a handy while I had been asleep. I pretended to stay asleep through it and she never said anything to me about it since. Was that some crazy Cosmo test to see if I'd say someone's name in my sleep or something? He has been hiding he's autistic from me for 10 years. Should clarify it's a long running on again off again thing between us but even when it's off we were still good friends. He suffered abusive therapy and because of it thinks hiding his autism is the most important thing. Except that's like trying to hide an elephant in a bathroom. And he's not always super high functioning. So it's always a weird charade of me pretending he's not autistic while busting my ass to gently handle that. I have no idea how to talk to him about it. I know he has a formal diagnosis. He was so traumatized from institutional medical abuse in the name of therapy that even mentioning it or acknowledging it can cause him to have a meltdown. He thinks if I knew. I wouldn't love him anymore. But I've known for years and I still love him. I like him just how he is. I just want things to be easier and less scary for him. And I don't know how to help most of the time because he won't admit the problem. Sometimes I'll forget to text her when I get home late at night. And maybe my phone is dead in the morning. Or I forgot to respond to her good morning text. Anyways. The next day she'll surprise me by showing up to my door and bringing me food. Or wanting some spontaneous SSI time. She really just worried that I died in a car accident or got kidnapped on the way home. But I'll never tell her I see through it because it's cute. And I really enjoy the surprise blowjobs and Philly cheesesteaks at noon on Sunday. Edit. She doesn't think I'm cheating on her. She sends me multiple texts letting me know she's coming over that I just don't see or respond to. She doesn't show any other suspicious behavior. Never checks my phone. Etc. A few years ago her boyfriend was killed in a car accident driving home so she's understandably worried. I just love the look on her face when I open the door and she's relieved I'm there. Sounds like my mother. 
Not the blowjobs and Philly cheesesteaks but the whole if you don't respond within 5 minutes you've died in a car crash thing. I had a girlfriend who purposefully gave me bad notes for class so her average would be higher than mine. She's been studying abroad for a year and is planning on coming home 5 days earlier to surprise me. Edit. I didn't imagine that many ideas coming out of posting this. Now I'm definitely gonna do a surprise party. Just have to look into the details. Edit 2. The plan so far. Day 1. Romantic night and evening at my place. I feign surprise. Day 2. Once on a date with my ex. I complimented her necklace. Which was a doll's eye on a chain. Doll's eyes blink when tilted. Which was cool. She immediately said oh thanks. I made it myself. And talked about how she did it. But I'd already seen that same necklace at a store she shops at. Also. She would sometimes say really beautiful things that were actually quotes from books. On one instance. I was reading a book about a year after we broke up and went. Ha. Huh. I've heard this before. He caught Snorlax without me. She bought me a Nintendo Switch and is hiding it to give it to me for my birthday. This has got to be longest I have ever spent on one thread. She had sex with another human. If they were mine. Our children would look half dog. My husband thinks I don't know about the extra 5 grand he's blown on firearms and ammunition the past 4 months. But his son is really bad at keeping secrets from me. I know everything. It. My stepson is 18 and he knows his dad didn't want me to know but he can't help himself. He loves snitching. He went and bought a Springfield M1A and seriously thought I wouldn't notice. We have separate bank accounts so I don't notice his money being spent but I'm not stupid. I know what guns we have and which ones are new. I know what they are worth too. I work for an FFL. Who sells him the guns when I'm not on shift? It's getting pretty comical at this point. I would be upset under normal circumstances but he's been working a lot of overtime at his job and when we were at a low point he had to sell a couple of his high end firearms. So I'm not going to try to make him feel guilty. He earned them. She quit taking birth control. Somehow we beat the odds and ended up with a daughter. Probably did it to keep me from leaving. That or the time she cut herself and said she was attacked. She did this to hide the fact she was seeing an ex. She chose Bulbasaur as a starter. It's not a bad secret. But he's been looking at engagement rings. She says she doesn't poop. But I know the truth. He messages other girls online and pretends he is single. He hasn't done anything physically. And there's no way I can leave him. Are you me? When pressed. He refers to me as his roommate. Reading these comments give me trust issues. What's the worst secret top 9 stroke 10 top comments are adorable or sweet? That she has cervical cancer. She got a letter last week saying that she needed to come back in after her OBGYN. And she has been crying since her return visit but she won't tell me why. I know it's gotta be that. Since that is what happened to my last serious GF. Dot. I cannot lose somebody else. Not again Ed it turns out it was a non-working ovary. So her chances of having kids normally is lowered. That's all. But she still can. Just have to have a doc's help. I imagine I might be responsible for one of these. I had sx with a good friend serious girlfriend a few years back. Before they started dating. I also told him about it before they started dating. So I know he knows. She. On the other hand. May not know that he knows. And very likely hasn't told him. I'm still friends with both of them and it doesn't seem to be a big deal for either of them. But I have to wonder if she knows that he knows.